let's get the camera out and give it a bit of a wiggle. So yeah, that is it now. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome. Um, today I have come to Paul Harbour um, in Dorset. This is the second largest natural um, harbour in the world. It was, uh, it covers about 14 square miles and it was created at the end of the last ice age. Um, so it's quite an amazing um, harbour in itself. Um, just, uh, let me try and think. That over here, this land here is um, Brown Sea Island and um, I think there's about half a dozen other islands, Green Island, Round Island, I can't remember the name of all of them. But anyway, I've come down here um, in this little sort of uh, hidden area, if you like, um, to try and get some images of some boats. Um, it's very difficult to uh, sort of pick out um, something that's going to make for a good image because we've got all these all these sailing boats here moored um, but it, it's chaotic um, it, it, there's sort of too many of them together so we really need to try and pick out something um, isolate something that is uh, more um, structured, if you like, not so chaotic. But what I'm going to do first of all is just take you... Um, yeah, I can't see if I'm pointing because the sun's in my eyes. We're just going to take you over here to these piers and show you a composition that I um, took a couple of years ago now, um, which I, I was really sort of chuffed with. But um, yeah, I'll take you along there and uh, show it to you first and then we're going to try and pick out some boats that um, I think is going to make for a good image. Yeah, so this is actually the composition of the piers that I took an image of a couple of years ago. Let me try and put it on a wider screen. There you go, that's a little bit better. Yeah, so I um, took an image of these piers a couple of years ago, which um, I was really pleased with. And I will actually put it up on the screen for you now to show you. So yeah, but anyway, we're here today, as I say, to try and get some images of some boats. Um, so I think I'll pop back to where I've just come from and see what we can find.
Right, what I've picked out is this little rowing boat just here. Um, I'm liking the colour of it. Um, I like the fact it's on its own and I like the fact there's two or three sailing ships in the background. Um, but I think I'm not going to try ICM on this. I'm going to try something a little bit different. And that is I am going to defocus for the image. Um, and see what sort of effect I can get through that. So um, I'll get the camera out and uh, we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, I have got, I'm going to use a 70 to 210 lens on this um, because it's a fair way away. I've got uh, ISO set to base rate of 100. I've got my white balance, I'm going to set that today to sunny. Um, so yeah, as I say, I'm going to defocus this for this image. So I'm first of all going to focus on it. I'm going to zoom I think round about, I want to get those two or three boats, sailing boats in the background in. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm on about 150, 150. So, put it on F11. And I'm going to take a shot and I'm going to start to defocus, defocus, bit more, bit more, bit more, and more, and more, until it is completely so out of focus you can't even see it. And I'm going to do that again. So, they look quite interesting on the back of the screen. going to run through it one more time, probably zoom in a little bit closer on this one I think. That last one is completely and utterly, I'm not even too sure you'll see anything other than Perhaps a bit of colour. But I'm liking the colour in that. That's quite nice. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I've sort of, as I said before, that all these boats here are rather cluttered. But I'm liking, well, we've got one, two, three, four, maybe five boats sort of set out there so they're quite sort of um, organized if you like <laughs> so I'm going to put a ND filter on now and um, take a few ICM shots of those I think Okay, so I've got 
my six stop ND on and I'm going to take a few shots of those. Um, the movement I'm going to use for this is literally just a, um, a vertical up and down movement. Um, not a great deal, just to sort of soften the image if you like. I'm ending up about, again, 150. That's a small, small sort of movement. looking quite nice. Unfortunately that sailing boat has just disappeared so we and ended up one less. Well I'm liking this sailing boat coming into the picture now so we'll get some of that as well. Yeah, that's not looking too shabby. So I can't really sort of see much else here. Um, that I can isolate, if you like. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with those. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I don't know whether I've got anything, but we'll soon see. If I have, I'll uh, put them up at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, if you've liked this uh, little tutorial, please hit the like. Um, don't forget to subscribe and ping my bell to see future videos. So until the next time, this is John Dexter saying thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.